If you've never had real aged balsamic vinegar, you're missing out. It's sweet, tart, tangy, it's simply magnificent. Unfortunately, the really good stuff is really expensive, like $60 an ounce expensive. It's pretty easy to recreate at home, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today in what the B team likes to refer to as a culinary fake out. Start by using your favorite grocery store balsamic vinegar. You wanna take about two cups of it and pour it into a non-reactive pan. Non-reactive means stainless steel or non-stick. You wanna place it over high heat and bring it to a boil. Immediately reduce it to low heat and let the vinegar simmer until it reduces by half. You don't want to have a vigorous boil going on this vinegar because a vigorous boil will actually destroy the nuances of the balsamic's flavor. So keep it low and slow and be patient. It'll be worth it. This will take you about 20 to 30 minutes and what you're looking for is a reduction by half and it should coat the back of a spoon, which this does beautifully. You can run your finger through it and see that it holds. So after it's reduced, remove it from the heat and let it cool to room temperature. As it cools, it'll continue to get even thicker. I like using it on grilled chicken or meat, vegetables, even a little wedge of Parmesan cheese. Here's a unique way to use it as a dessert. The Italians have been doing it for years. Take some vanilla gelato and some ripe strawberries and just drizzle a little bit over. Look how thick and beautiful it is. As Bobby would say, yum.